Welcome back to Open Line. Let's just go right back to the phones. Let's go to Lucy. Lucy, you've been waiting. Hello, Lucy. Hey there. Hey, Mr. Sherrell, you're on top of it, dude. You are on top of it because you know where it's coming from. Uh, I want to make about four or five quick comments. As far as the discipline and the structure, you can't coddle these kids. For some reason, kids who are born into grit or expected to come into the world all grown up. Mm -hmm. And you can't feel sorry for them, but you also can't be crazy hard on them. I believe in separating the troublemakers, but I don't believe in putting them in stir crazy either. So I, I agree with you what's going on at Juvenile Hall. The second thing is about Juvenile Hall, I would really like to know how that contract is written. If you have an intake of a juvenile, and you let him out, maybe he stole a car in three hours. Do you get credit? Do you get paid the whole day for holding somebody for a couple of hours? How do they get paid? Is it per head? What's the contract over there at that privatized facility? Okay, and the other thing is, when you, when you talk about uh, crime being down, I heard that, uh, that quote, but I heard overall crime is down, but uh, serious crime is up. It's gone way up. Mm -hmm. And they're not looking at that up in the state house. And I think somebody like you could really, if they would listen to you, see how it is. A lot of people, there's other things. For instance, is it still when uh, you work overtime uh, to get some Christmas gifts or some school supplies? Your rent goes up if you're on Section 8 housing. Yes, ma'am. And they're talking about integrating people in a mixed-use hmm. development with low income and high income. That is not going to change a culture overnight. It, it, you have to start in a culture with young people overnight. You can't put them up around a bunch of rich people and expect them to change their attitude. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is, you know, this is the it city. People move here because they don't have an identity and they want to be part of basking in the reflected glory of the it city. And if you don't think that these kids don't want to pick their persona that they want to project being hard and criminal and everything. We're fooling ourselves. So we're all here for the people who want to move here to be part of the it city, but we're not looking at the other kids looking at that $500,000 home across the street wanting to have their own persona or project something themselves. Hey, all right, Lucy, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank, thank you. you, Lucy. Thank, thank you, you, Lucy. What, what do you think of some of what she said there? Um, as far as the contract with uh, those privatized um, institutions, I think it's like 130 something dollars a day uh, uh, for a child. I mean, it's very profitable. Everyone's trying to get into it. I mean, you got to look. Gateway of Independence shut down, and then it was True Core, then it was Gateway of Independence, and now it's standing it's three different privatized institutions just took over the facility over there off Ashton City mm -hmm. one shuts down another one springs up hey I'll take that free good money right you know I mean that's just it's just it's troublesome to look at it um, as far as the mixed-use development spaces it's it's gonna be very hard to, I mean, of course, they just cut funding. I just don't see that working either. You know, uh, when you're on Section 8 and you're trying to work and you make above a certain amount of money, then they take, they take the money that they were giving you initially to help you away. And then you left. It, it costs eighty, ninety thousand dollars to live in this city. Right. How do you expect someone to get out of prison? and get a job and be successful trying to make that trying to live in this city it's not going to work so mm -hmm. crime it, it's just a repetitive cycle you know fascinating all right we're going to take a break we'll come back uh basically we'll wrap everything up we'll uh, have some parting thoughts take a break so. be back right after this